Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we visited San Jose del Cabo, continued sailing, Dad lost plenty of fish along the way, and we arrived safely at an awesome anchorage near Playa Los Frailes. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We are in the Sea of Cortez, Mexico, and today anchored near Playa Los Frailes, located on the East Cape. We're doing some washing here. The water's clear so we can make water with the water maker to fill the washing machine. It's sunny, beautiful, so the clothes were dry. And yeah, washing today is my job. Dad and Taj are gonna go trolling in the tender and try and catch a fish. I was on the Lyra this morning, went for a swim. Um, now I'm doing the washing, gonna have some breakfast. Anything? Nothing. We had no luck with fish, but don't worry, we had food on board so we didn't starve. That afternoon, Mum and Dad and Bella headed to the beach to stretch their legs and have a look around. It's like a crab's eating it and spat out. <gasps> oh. Oh. Look at that thing. There's a blue bottle and some kind of deadly looking bug. <laughs> it's huge, it's like a big flying ant. Just climbing up this little rock spot. And oh, there's a little bit of a drop. A little bit of a drop there. Let's show you the view. I don't think we need to go any further. No, I think this is good. <laughs> Just stuff. While on the beach, our friends sailed into the anchorage. One minute later. Who's it gonna be? Bella's in the lead. I think she's gonna win. She might beat her mother, but she definitely does not beat her father. She beat me. Waking up, our favorite way, jumping in the ocean. And it's always nice when it is easy to check on the anchor. Close by is a snorkeling spot, so we stopped by Night Runner and headed over to check out the underwater life. The water was clear and there was plenty of fish in and around the rocky bottom. A few of us were keen to go a bit further around the corner of the headland and found some seals sunning themselves. How's this guy's hairstyle? Very cool, mate. We headed back and after filling our bellies with food, some of us went into the beach. The sand was incredibly hot, but we found some shade under this cocoa-sized umbrella. The guys were keen for some fish, so Dad picked up Taj and Rio for a spear fishing mission. Good luck! Now where we are anchored and where we went snorkeling is protected, but about 10 minutes in the dinghy, there is another reef and the boys went to see if they could find some fish for dinner. They got enough food to feed the tribe that night. It was so good, the next day everyone but me piled in the dinghy and headed back out to the reef.
A morning of yoga on the beach and it was time to adventure on. We put up the sails and headed off. It's always a good day when dolphins join us. We sailed until sunset and stopped into a bay to sleep. So we're leaving where we stopped last night. We were planning on leaving in the night because we thought there'd be wind. But it turns out there's some wind this morning, so we've headed off. And we're gonna try and get up to the top, um, those islands that are pretty incredible. Pretty excited to get there. Another day sailing and we arrived at an anchorage on the east side of Isles Inspiranto Santos. In the afternoon, just in time to check out the beach. Look at those! Ah! <laughs> Something so spiky. Oh my god, look at those doing on. Ah! Oh, just doing that. That hurt. Ouch. Everything is very spiky in Mexico. The land of the spikes. The land of the spikes, guys. <laughs> Stepping on spikes. Here we are this afternoon on the beach with a cactus. First time we've ever seen cactus. I don't think that's true, but I What's great about Mexico? There's cactuses. I really like these ones. I don't like ah! standing on them. Did you stand on one? I'm leaving. What did you stand on? See that? I stood on Oh, Bella. Oh, let's oh, go. Why are we doing back here? Why are we back here? We could be on the beach. Oh. <laughs> that was really stuck in there. That really, that really got stuck in your foot. Wait, beautiful, darling. Oh, no. And look. <laughs> Yeah, I did too. Another day and another destination in our sights. This one was not far and after a leisurely morning, we pulled up the anchor. 40 degrees, we're just a bit ahead of sail out. We only got one sail up because we're too lazy to pull the sails up. So we're not going very far. This is where we stopped last night. Playa Bonanza. We're gonna head over to Balandria. Torito Balandra. That's what it looks like in the book seen some pretty epic photos of this place so we'll see looks pretty spectacular getting powered along by our precision sail so going from there just to there so not very far that's why we've only got our head sail out we honestly thought that the wind was going to change direction it still could but it'd still be easier if we just had the head sail so that's what we're doing about four and a half knots we're going to there We arrived in Belandra Bay where we met up again with our buddy boat, Night Runner. Explored this beautiful place the best way on paddle boards.
So we're just in Belandra Bay anchored and we've got some officials coming over. It's the first time in Mexico we've had officials come up to us, so captain's gone up, see what's all about. See here, we must be. Oh, we're too close. Well, here, or we must be inside of here. Ah, uh, see. Must seem to be out a little bit. It wouldn't be much. Yeah. We could just wait for it to start. Yeah, just move forward. Stocks were getting low on board, so next stop was a bay not too far from La Paz. We pulled in here because we thought we could get a taxi easy enough from here without having to go anchor in La Paz. But even though we caught a ride into town for dinner, We needed quite a few things, so the following morning we pulled anchor and headed the extra five nautical miles to La Paz. Thought we'd try out a new sail we found in the locker. We don't know what it is. It's a spinnaker, a mezzica, I don't know what you call it. It's a spinnaker looking sail that goes on our mizzen and um, we thought we'd have a play with it. Lots of flies, so we've got a fly screen on. We're going four and a half knots. I think it was a quite an easy setup. It's in a sock, it's easy to deploy and um, retrieve. So I think the next time we're on passage and we've got light air, we may fly the two spinnakers. That went as smooth as a baby's bottom. Oh, that's bloody beautiful. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you later.